This is the Midterm Finger Puppet Management Presentation. Group 9 Weekend Warriors with Mark Couch, Me Too Francois, Kristen Huber, and Max McKinley. Welcome to Bikini Bottom. You're about to embark on a journey to the bottom of the ocean floor. We're going to visit a town known as Bikini Bottom. This quaint little town is home to SpongeBob SquarePants, Squidward Tentacles, and Mr. Krabs. They all work together at a little hole-in-the-wall fast food joint called the Krusty Krab. We're going to take a look into the lives of the employees and its owner. We will look at the trials and tribulations they must face in order to run a successful business every single day. Character Introduction SpongeBob SquarePants SpongeBob is a fry cook who makes minimum wage. He is an extrovert who has an uncontrollable urge to please people, no matter what consequences may come with it, and he has great customer service. Although he is eager to please, he is a very ethical person and won't do anything if it means breaking the rules or falling into a gray area of his ethical standards. He always wants to do the best job he can, no matter what the task is. If he fails to do the best job, he gets very upset with himself. He is also a very loyal person to his friends and to his boss and company, the Krusty Krab. SpongeBob also is good at keeping company secrets for his boss and owner, Mr. Krabs. He has had some great marketing ideas for the company, but every single idea has been shut down by the owner, Mr. Krabs. Drunk! Okay, sure. As of now, the Krusty Krab is open 24 hours! <laughs> Working and working and working without ever having to go home. I gotta pinch myself because I must be dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, uh, Mr. Krabs just Im you know implied that they would now be open 24/7, and SpongeBob actually got excited that he was going to work more. <laughs> Squidward Tentacles. Squidward is a cashier at the Krusty Krab. He is an introvert that does not have any customer service skills or interpersonal skills. He's also very unmotivated and really couldn't care less what anyone has to say about him or his work ethic. He doesn't really have a high standard when it comes to ethics, business savvy, or customer service. He also yells and berates customers when he's having a bad day. Squidward could care less about how he performs as an employee or whether or not he is helping the company succeed as a whole. He has no stake in the company, so whether it fails or not doesn't matter to him. We've got to unite as workers and demand the respect we deserve from the boss. In fact, you and I should go on strike. He owes us for all the precious irretrievable moments we've wasted in this trash heap. Soon, he'll realize he needs us more than we need him. We are workers united! All right, SpongeBob, now listen up. I'm going to have to teach you how to strike. First, we must get rid of our uniforms. They are a symbol of our oppression. I want you to throw your head on the ground like so. Now, stomp it into the dust. The crab is unfair. Mr. Krabs is in there, standing at the concession, plotting his oppression. Attention, people of Bikini Bottom. You have been cheated and lied to. The gentle laborer shall not. Okay, so as you could see, Squidward is so pessimistic and evil sometimes that he can even get Spongebob to uh, convert his optimism into pessimism. Mr. Krabs Mr. Krabs has always been obsessed with money and is a penny-pinching financial guru. He's the owner and manager of the Krusty Krab, as well as the employer of both Spongebob and Squidward. Mr. Krabs is mostly respected by Spongebob, who possibly sees him as a fatherly figure. 
while Squidward tends to loathe him, as he does everybody else. The show exaggerates Mr. Krabs' greed. He will do almost anything to obtain money or not lose it, no matter how small the amount, usually with no regard to, of the safety or well-being of others or even himself. He is very self-involved. It always has to be about him. He can also be very unethical at times. As long as it gets him that coveted dollar, it does not matter. Who am I to choose between SpongeBob uh, and all the money I have dog. in my pocket? Which would you taste? It depends. Oh, it's How much money are we talking about? Mr. Krabs! 62 cents. I'll take the money. Mr. Krabs! Here you go, Krabs. 62 cents. Next up, Davy Jones Locker! Hey there, Krusty Krab. How can I help you? Pizza? Mm, of course we have pizza. Time is money, boy. Don't worry, lad. We have total confidence in you. Put it all on Neptune. Not to mention free refreshments. <laughs> all we need to do is get your confidence back. So you can make me more money. Uh, I mean, uh, patties. <laughs> Hold on, me bucko. Food's on the way. Hey, you got money, right? Mm. Ah. Okay, money. I mean, uh, children. It's time for the grand unveiling of money. I mean, the money. <laughs> no, that cost me twenty-four ninety-five. No, not me toaster. That cost me thirty-two fifty. Sixty-two sixty-seven. Well, actually, that one was a gift. There it is. It's a Brian Dutchman's treasure. Go, 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 go. What guy in a suit? No, it's a tax collector. Hi there, SpongeBob. Money talk. So as you can see, Mr. Krabs is very obsessed with money, or even the idea of money. Some management topics and principles that we explored in our project included individual ethics, motivational leadership and trust, managerial ethics, communication and negotiation, strategic implementation of accumulated knowledge, and the four functions of management. Episode Development Episode 1 During this episode, we will introduce SpongeBob SquarePants as he starts working at the Krusty Krab. After, we will introduce Squidward Tentacles, who does not like SpongeBob because he is a model employee and his annoying neighbor. Next, we will meet Mr. Krabs, the owner and manager of the Krusty Krab, as he talks about his favorite thing in the world, money. We will see that money is the only thing that Mr. Krabs cares about. We'll also see how the three of them mesh as co-workers, and what issues develop between Spongebob and Squidward in this episode. Isn't it great working at the Krusty Krab, Squidward? Huh? Is it? Working here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hold that. <laughs> As you can see, they don't really get along that well. Well, at least from Squidward's point of view. Episode number two. In this episode, Mr. Krabs checks the register at the end of a business day and notices that his lucky dime is missing. Squidward is the only person who works at the register, and Mr. Krabs automatically accuses him of stealing his dime, rightfully so. Squidward denies the allegation and proceeds to defend himself throughout the entire episode. After a lot of, a lot of bickering without reaching a conclusion, Mr. Krabs begins to turn his attention to all of his employees so that Squidward doesn't feel singled out. Of interpretive dance quarterlies? Of course I'm. What are you saying? Me? 
ain't saying nothing that would matter to anyone who'd be willing to take a lie detector test. You're saying something. Well, it's the Betsy. No, it's just that me lucky dime's gone missing and you've been working the register all day. Are you accusing me of something? Well, the way I see it, there are three possibilities. One, you stole it. Two, you stole it. Or three, you stole it. I didn't take your precious dime. Show me your tentacles. What? I want to see empty these suction cups. Here, here, here. Stay them. You can't do that to me. I'm your boss. <laughs> okay, so as you can see there firsthand, uh, what happened in that episode. You know, Mr. Krabs down went missing and he automatically accused Squidward of taking it. Episode 3. Mr. Krabs confronts both Squidward and Spongebob about the missing dime, but uses a calmer tone with Spongebob than Squidward because he genuinely believes that Spongebob wouldn't steal from him. Spongebob tells Mr. Krabs that he has no idea what happened to the dime. While Spongebob is talking to Mr. Krabs, he reminds himself that he had taken over the cashier position while Squidward was in the bathroom earlier that day. Due to Spongebob's dedication to good customer service while he was checking someone out, he ended up giving away Mr. Krabs' lucky dime by mistake, and because he was so focused on bringing a quality experience to the customer. Spongebob doesn't tell Mr. Krabs the truth because he feels like Mr. Krabs would fire him. Spongebob is a prized employee at the Krusty Krab, and he's valued so much that he's basically a manager. This situation occurred because Spongebob took over the cashier position while Squidward was using the bathroom. Normally he wouldn't do something like that, but as a manager you have to take over certain situations like Spongebob did, as it says in the four functions of management, which are planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. Managers don't only do one thing, they have to do a little bit of everything. The four functions of management describe Spongebob's personality perfectly, especially leading, because Squidward is always unmotivated and Spongebob tries to bring a lot of energy to motivate not only Squidward but also the customers. So as a manager should, Spongebob took over the cashier position for a little while. Run the cash register! Cash register! Wow! <laughs> okay, so that was Squidward handing Spongebob that position to run for the day, or for the time being. He's probably just standing at the register with that stupid grin on his face. Hey, Spongebob! Hey, Patrick! Hey, Spongebob, could you give me change for a quarter? No problem! Here you go! Hey, I forgot to tell him how to make change! Oh. <laughs> and there's Squidward getting scared that Spongebob will even mess that up. Episode number four. Spongebob feels very guilty for not telling Mr. Krabs the truth because he's a very ethical person. Spongebob finally builds up the courage to tell Mr. Krabs the truth, even though that can result in him losing his job. He goes into Mr. Krabs' office to tell him the truth, and Mr. Krabs ends up forgiving him. Mr. Krabs felt like that Spongebob wouldn't give away his lucky dime on purpose, and Spongebob's great customer service brings in a lot of repeat business. Mr. Krabs also recognizes that firing Spongebob would actually hurt the Krusty Krabs business in the long term. He tells him to be more attentive while operating the cash register and tells him not to let something like this happen again. So overall, um, you know, this entire mashup, um, you know, shows how sometimes management could lead into what it led into. Um, you know, a manager has many jobs and duties to perform, and this was just an example of how sometimes little things can go wrong if not everyone has the optimal amount of information with them when they're doing a job. Thank you.